you think about Oxford Street here in London or the Bahnhofstrasse in Zurich, people pounding up and down every day, you can make use of that. Walk me through it. Exactly. So whenever you walk down the street, we can convert your weight, your kinetic energy, into electrical power. Right. So we're taking a small amount of energy as people walk, and then we're using it to power things in our city. So street lighting, advertising, anything that needs power on the street can be connected into our technology. How does it actually work? How efficient is it? So I walk around, I don't know how many steps I take in a single day, but how much electricity could I potentially generate? So the key thing about it is it's a really efficient system. It, all it needs is just a few steps and there'll be continuous power coming out of it and we can store that power. Now the efficiency is, is getting quite high. We're on par nearly with solar in, in winter environments and we're only going to see that getting better and as we reduce the cost curve on our, our product. But how it works is with just a few steps on, on yep. this tile here, you can see the light behind me going on from just, just a step but we're also storing the energy. So on this tile here, I'm connecting it into a, one of our batteries and this sign. So with just a few steps of charging it up, after that, I can, you can see the sign down here being illuminated. Right, so that's all it takes to illuminate that. And how quickly will that go off? Just to, I so, last for... so a sign like this will, will go for 30 seconds to a minute, right. just about five or ten steps. So imagine 100,000 people yep. aggregating that power, and that's what we're doing. 100,000 people do an awful lot of damage to a, a, a pavement over the years. You have to use quite sort of resistant materials. How resistant, how, how sort of, how capable of standing up to that kind of a, a battering is your technology? So my design team, when we set out, we wanted to create a product that would withstand the harshest environment. Yeah. We have machines that will non-stop hammer the device to, the, to yeah. up to millions of footsteps, to take it, to freeze it down to minus 50. You're in a really tough situation being outside, and we've engineered something that can stand up to that. How are you getting on with the kind of the business side? How is the business model standing up? funding, getting this out onto the pavements uh, uh, of Europe and elsewhere. Talk to me about that. So we're a startup. You know, I yep. founded the company in 2009. You know, right now, um, we're in 14 countries. Yep. Um, we do a lot of our business primarily in, in Europe and in North America. And what we're doing at the moment is we're reducing that cost curve to see it being the same price as normal flooring. And that's our ambition, is to take it to that point. But we're already trading, you know, the product's in the ground. You can see it, we've powered the train stations. Yep. We're powering some of the biggest retail sites in the world. And next, you'll be seeing some of the biggest airports in Europe will be using this technology.